Unfortunately, it was a good wave. It had plenty of room. He was just sliding out, having some fun on the way through there. So Zaid is carrying on to... That was the final. Zaid is in the final for Cadets, and now he's in the final for the Grommets. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and, oh, see, they've just changed the rashies over. He was in blue, but they're keeping him in yellow because he's going back to back. So, but congratulations. He's already a finalist winner in the Cadets Division for the 2023 Future Pros. Well done, Zay Taylor. That was a cracking effort from Zay. Let's see if he can back it up and take it out two times in a row. Ryder in white with a nice roll there. That was a good start. Chase Stewart, Cooper's younger brother. He's been surfing great today too. He's one to watch. Very similar strategy to his brother, going all the way to the inside and trying to find the whole wave. Yep, I've noticed that with him and um, Hardy coming right through to the shore. They've been both really great competitors at a, such a young age. So here we are. At, uh, we've got... Uh, just started final for the Grommets at the Future Pros with 19 minutes remaining. And in first place with a 3.67 is Chase Stewart. In second place, oh, no places yet, no scores on the board, but Zay Taylor carrying on after winning the Cadets final, going back to back in the Cadets final, now into the Grommets final, Zay Taylor. And in the blue, Archer Toms. And in the red, Ollie Williams. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sand is electricity's least best friend. We're just uh, commenting we've got sand everywhere, all through our electrical equipment. <laughs> the guys are absolute streaming. <laughs> I feel pity for you. <laughs> I play in a band and I've got a lot of musical equipment and I can't think of anything worse of rust and sand, but it is what it is. It's part of the game. And we thank them. We can't thank them enough for, for doing what they do. It makes it very difficult in days like today. I'm sure they'll get good use out of their equipment. Uh, otherwise, it's a it's a definite write-off, isn't it? <laughs> Surprised we don't have the windsurfing championships going on here. Oh, no. Yeah, how, how fast is this wind? Probably like 20 knots. Well, yeah, my charts that I was looking at um, yesterday were saying that it was going to be fresh to strong. So, we, yeah, talking like 30 kilometre an hour winds. Yeah. Uh, I can confirm that. Yeah, it feels like it's hitting that 20 to 25 knots. Yeah, yeah we had a good gust earlier that almost we almost had lift off. Sixteen minutes and a half left on this heat. Well, they're predicting a shower or two for today, so hopefully <coughs> the rain stays away. And the wind, 33.3 kilometre hour gusts, 25. Oh, I missed that. Rider in blue. Rider in blue, Archer. Let's have a look at the replay. Nice little wave, punches through the lip and over the top and lands it. That's not a bad manoeuvre in tough conditions. And Ryder in yellow is up and riding now. Zay Tail, the winner of the last final. Nice. Not quite getting over the top of that, but uh, pretty well shaped wave. So, yeah, we're, the riders out there at the moment, they're experiencing like 20, 25 to 26 kilometre hour southeast winds with up to 33.3 kilometre hour gusts. Very challenging conditions. Luckily, we have got some swell, otherwise, it would be nearly impossible out there. The guys are doing an amazing job um, with what they've been 
given here at Chugan for the Future Pros 2023. We are approaching the high tide too at the moment. We are not far off it with a high tide today at 2.26 p.m. So in about an hour from now, it's only a 1.34 meter tide, so not a massive tide, um, but it's coming up, definitely coming up. Well, Archer's scored a seven for his first wave. He's currently out in the lead. Wow, big scores. A seven. Uh, Chase Stewart in second with a 3.67. And Zay Taylor with a 2.57, currently in third position. Only one wave so far for the riders, except for Ollie. No scores on the board for Ollie Williams yet. You can hear Tapper and the boys having a ball on the beach commentary out there, getting very excited as we approach uh, all the final events for the day. Um, it's the highlight of the day. Like, uh, you know, everybody's, it's been a big day. It's getting like, I can see one of their tents, one of their tents looks like it's about to blow away. Oh, what is that? Oh, they've got, uh, must be some sort of uh, backdrop they've got for the, for the presentation. Um, yeah, it's going to be hard to keep that thing from blowing away. But it's a huge, huge event down here today. We've got tents along the beach. Ryder and Red up in the finals. Ollie's. Nice roll over there. Very good. Oh, another roll. And again. Ollie's going to get his first score on the board with a double roll combination, milking it right through the inside, but unfortunately not just not giving him enough push to get it right through to the shore, but still nonetheless to manoeuvre wave will get him a substantial score and possibly push up into third or second position with his first wave on the board still with 13 minutes remaining rider in wide up chase stewart oh nice wave and a nice roll and he's still holding on to it this very good wave selection there it was worth the wait um he sat right on the pocket of the shoulder there um and had very good White positioning with a nice roll under the lip. Here we go, here's the replay. Nice speed under the lip in the crucial section of the wave. Managed to hang on and milk it out a little bit further. Unfortunately, just lost its steam at the end there for him. But nonetheless, a pretty good wave for Chase Stewart. Uh, one of my favorite competitors to watch today. He's been surfing very well and uh, been in a lot of heat, spent a lot of time in the water. These poor little fellas have got no meat on their bones and you can see them sitting on the beach shivering. <laughs> They're going to be tired today. They're going to sleep like a log, I tell you. Even I will, and I haven't even been in the water, but I'm old, so you get that. <laughs> Again, just looking over my shoulder, we've got uh, uh, the guys guys from Absolute Streaming. The wind just almost picked us up and blew us away again. Uh, I weigh about 90 kilos now, it's nearly blowing me away. Um, but yeah, looking over my shoulder, the, the guys from Absolute Streaming doing a fantastic job. And um, Ben Wells and Tim Oliver. Here we go, Ryder in blue. Um, missed the start, but he's, oh, three spins. Can he keep riding it? And there's a white rider out the back there with a rollo. Yep. Another spinner for blue. Blue right through the inside. Not quite completing the roll, but multiple link up maneuvers. He's got the highest scoring wave so far. So I dare say that it'd be enough, maybe enough to push Archer. All he needs. I is think that's definitely enough to push him oh. through to the first place position. Now that I'm looking, all he needed was a 1.08 to get him in first, and I think that will be more than enough. Yellow's gone right through. I've missed it. I've been too busy looking. Yellow's got something from right out the back. We've just got the end of it, but I missed the rest of the wave. Hopefully the judge has got the rest of it. Um, but for him to get one right through to the shore, I dare say that would be a substantial score for the rider in yellow, Zay Taylor, to better his position. Um, 
because he's only got one wave on the board of a 2.57 at the moment. Um, well, that was a quite a decent roll at the start of his wave and then 360 to a roller at the end. So that would be a pretty decent wave for Zade. Yep, yep. It's, uh... He needs, he needs uh, a 4.15, which may be enough. I yes. think that's enough, yeah. He has. He's scored a 4.9, which puts Zaid into second position. He's already won He's already won the cadet final. We're still waiting for that second score on Archer to drop, and that could that will move things around a bit more, I believe. Absolutely. Um, Archer, I dare say, will be in first. And unfortunately, Zaid... It's not enough to beat Stewart. He's still, Ryder he's still in got red. room in his second oh, wave. Oh, that was a nice wave by Ryder in red. Nice roll under the lip and still riding through. Ollie Williamson. Oh, come on, hold on to it. Oh, if he had have got that through, I dare say that would have been enough. Here we go, Ryder in white. Oh, unlucky. Just got bounced off. Poor young fellas would just be, they'd be knackered out there. They'd been out in that water all day in challenging conditions. Ryder in red, under the lip. That was a well-executed role for Ollie Williamson, and it's eh, it's going to be a close call now. It's up between three riders. Here we go. Archer's definitely up into first position with a score of seven for his first wave, which I didn't actually see, but it's a, that's a huge score. Um, Chase Stewart in second position, and Zay Tower, the winner of the Cadets final, is he's been pushed back to fourth now. Ollie's up into second after that last wave that Ollie got. Very well done to Ollie. And Arch Tom, Archer Tom's in first position with a 7 and a 4.4. Ollie Williams in second with an 8.46. Chase Stewart needs a 7.1. That's a 7.1. They need big scores, man, to... Uh, I don't know if that's for first or to, to get into second. He doesn't need that much. He only needs, he'll, you know, another 4.5 score maybe will get, yeah, if Chase can get a 4.5 or even if Zaid can get a 4.5, it will be enough to knock Ollie out of that second position. I'm just guessing scores at the moment, but... Um, it's, it's pretty close. I mean, Archer's well out in front with 11.4. Oh, bright and white. Was that a... Was that an ARS? Got a bit of a sandstorm going on in... I know. Oh, there we go. There's Mr. Van. Van Taylor. Running down the beach for the Super Groms final coming up. <laughs> absolute streaming's having an absolute <laughs> nightmare with this sand over here. He's getting absolutely streamed with the sand at the moment, getting laced with sand. Did that just fly off, did it? No, 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 no. Oh, we haven't got too much longer left until all this gear can be packed down out of the sand. What is this, the second last heat or the third last? Uh, we are about to see Super Groms. So this is the third last, only two more finals to go. Another 45 minutes for the day. Yep. And uh, Absolute Streaming can get out their little vacuum and vacuum all the sand out of their little crevices. <laughs> wow, look at it. It's just powdering everything now. Yeah. Get, um, we can get some help. No, you sure? Yeah. Sorry, there's a bit going on in the background here. Apologies for the interference. But here we are in the final. Final for the Grommets. And we've still got Archer out in the front with just over five and a half minutes remaining.
just over five and a half minutes remaining, and Arch is still solidly out in the front with his big score of seven. Ollie Williams still holding second position, but it's very close. The the second, third, and fourth competitors have got an 8.46 in second, 8.07 in third, and a 7.47. So there's not much in it. It's just going to take any one of the two competitors in third and fourth position to score roughly a 4.5, and it will knock Ollie out of the second position. <sighs> Getting peppered with sand everywhere here in the face. Uh, um, five minutes remaining. There it is. Five minutes remaining. At the moment, we've got Archer Toms and Ollie Williams. Uh, there's no pushing anybody out of any position at the moment because this is the final. I'm getting a little bit confused, but at the moment, Archer is well and truly in the lead. Congratulations so far, thus far, for Archer Toms. Currently coming first place in the uh, Gromit's final. All the competitors in the war at the moment have done an amazing job just to get this far. Uh, Zaid has already... Oh. Zaid Taylor. Right through. Right through. Zay Taylor, another roll on the end. That uh, that might be enough to push him up into second spot. He's already won the Cadets final. And uh, maybe not enough to get him into first, but it might be enough to get him up into second position. Zay Taylor, hailing from the Sunshine Coast, been surfing fantastic today. His uh, combina combination of manoeuvres right through the inside to the Shorey has definitely worked in his favour. Wow. We are starting to cop some very unfavourable wins here, but... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's, that's sport for you. Yeah. Uh, so Zay Taylor has jumped up into second spot. Three minutes remaining. There you got the rider, Archer. Archer Tom's in blue, currently in first. In second, Zay Taylor. Rider in red, Ollie Williams in third place. And in fourth, Chase Stewart. Zade's doing a solid effort for this back-to-back -back heat of the final for both divisions. Yeah, oh, I can't, I can't deny that. Absolutely, you know, he's just won the Cadets final and now in the uh, Gromit's final, coming second at the moment. Very well done. Very well done to all the competitors in the water. It's been an absolute treat to watch Ollie and Chase surfing today. Everybody's done so good, and uh, right out in front, Archer. Archer's made the effort to come all the way, all the way from uh, Foster, Port Macquarie area, around uh, northern central coast New South Wales area, uh, northern New South Wales, come all the way up, and he's definitely, definitely made it worth his while. Rider in yellow, up on a right hand, a little cut back and a forward spin, and just getting pushed off the back of that one. But congratulations thus far to Archer. The heat is not over yet, but we've only got one minute remaining, just over one minute, and Archer is currently holding a very strong first position, uh, travelling all the way up from New South Wales, uh, from North Haven, and he was currently Australian national champion for the Gromits division, so there you go. Uh, it goes to show, um, yeah, it's a name to watch out for. I'm aware of a couple of the riders in this heat, but Archer, I wasn't aware that, uh, but it's clear to me now that uh, Archer is definitely worthy of the uh, 
of the first spot, being the current Australian national champion for 2023 in the Gromits division. And it looks like 30 seconds is keeping him away from holding on to that. Or holding on to the first place here anyway. It's almost, you could almost lock it in, Eddie, with 20 seconds remaining, unless somebody pulls some uh, magic out of the hat, a rabbit out of the hat at the last minute. 10 seconds to go. Nothing too promising coming in. Congratulations, there it is. Archer Toms.